For the depression type, you find a separated tuber fragment with varus and shortening, isolated depressed joint fragments, often a blowed out lateral wall, often with impingement of the lateral upper joint or broken lateral malleolus. An extension device is the most important tool for closed reduction of depression type and comminuted fractures. We use this kind of two-point distractor designed and published by Peter Fröhlich 1999. Actually, we work on a new, more flexible and radiolucent modern device. Why is the extension so important? I will try to show it on some examples. Here we see a simple fracture, Sanders 2, depression type, it looks really harmless, with little impression, some compaction of the cancellous bone. The length on the axis looks to be alright. But on CT scans, you can see the dislocation of the joint fragment. Especially on 3D reconstructions, you get a good overview of the fracture situation. Here is a lateral view, the medial view and a medial dorsal view where you can notice an additional rotation component of the tuber. Going deeper, you will find that the lengths and the axis are not all right, but shortened and then varus. And you will find we have a compaction of the cantulous bone. In these fractures, the sole aim is a precise anatomical reduction. Without correction of lengths and axis, anatomical reduction is impossible. In minimal invasive technique, External manual intervention with pressure and traction on the soft tissues will not lead to the goal. We'll need not a few forces to dissolve the compacted cancellous bone, adjust the main fragments and hold them stable to work on the joint fragments. Here you see the mounted extension device during the surgery procedure. The first step for reduction is correction of varus, second step is correction of length. This helps narrowing the lateral shape. In most of the cases, we now try the reduction of the central fragments through a lateral incision with a respiratory or an elevator. Here you see the outcome in this case. Here is second fracture, also depression type, performing an extension for correction of length Reduction of the lateral joint fragment through a lateral incision. You see it in the lateral view. On the right side, the depressed joint fragment. On the left side, the reposition maneuver. Here the result with stabilization with sustentaculum and static screws and here the clinical outcome.